Okay, if you want to know what's going on without hearing me ramble on, in terms of my health, I'm doing better than last year, though I've still got plenty of issues. I'm going to do fewer short-term videos since I enjoy making long documentary-like ones more, though there are like two topics I want to cover soon, which would be short videos, so the videos coming in the more immediate future just might be. I'm actually working on three, three and a half long-term videos right now. They are all still in the writing phase, but I've made enough progress to where I think they will make their way into becoming full-length videos. One of them is a follow-up to Kindly Beast. Another is a top priority for me to finish, but it's taking so long that it might not be out until another video or two is. Making videos is my hobby, but I want to open up new avenues to support myself through what I enjoy, which is making videos. I've made a Patreon with a bunch of perks and stuff. It's not perfect, and so I'd love to hear some feedback on it if anyone would be willing to kind of um, just tell me what they think. I'm also going to make myself available as an editor, so if you know someone who could use an editor, then maybe let them know. I've considered making merchandise, but I'd like to get proper artwork done by someone and pay for the rights to sell it. If merchandise like shirt designs is something you'd be interested in or not, then I'd like to know. Finally, I'm aware that ads are on my Kindly Beast video. I didn't place them there, so I wasn't making any money from those ads. I didn't want to put ads there, but YouTube has been profiting from my video without my consent, so now I've activated ads so I'll at least be getting a cut. I obviously didn't want the video to be monetized, I felt like I was profiting off of other people's misfortune, but between YouTube's behavior and the effort I put into making the video, I'm at least comfortable making that choice. I know some people won't be happy with my decision, I'm not happy with the situation, so even if you disagree, I at least hope you understand. Those are kind of the big things I wanted to announce here, and so the rest of this is probably just going to be me rambling about these points and a few more. It's probably going to get kind of personal, so just fair warning. Okay, I want to start by saying that I don't mean for these update videos to be annual. Obviously, a lot has happened in 2020, but I just couldn't bring myself to upload just an update video. Because to me, that isn't real content. Now, I know a lot of you watching this wouldn't mind, but... To me, I'd rather make sure everyone is happy. So with the double upload, those who want the real content get it, and those who want to just hear me talk get a double upload. At some point, a day will come where I upload just an update video, but yeah, update videos being an annual thing has not been by design, it's just kind of happened that way. So in terms of my health, I am doing better. Um, I've had a lot of appointments and a lot of situations where it's like, we don't know what it is, we don't know what it is, we think it might be this, but we don't know for sure. Um, and so it's mostly just been a lot of, it's not this, which is good. Um, it wasn't until September that I finally got confirmation that what's wrong with me won't kill me anytime soon. Because that was kind of my big fear, is that my body was just kind of very quickly um, degrading over time or something like that. Um, but to have an illness that starts off in like 2020 of all the years with a global pandemic and having a compromised immune system, there was a bit of time where I genuinely thought I was maybe going to die. Um, Obviously, if whatever's going on with me didn't kill me, then having a compromised immune system um, during a global pandemic would possibly do me it. I, and, and again, it's, it's past me at this point. You know, they've confirmed that, you know, it's not going to, nothing's going to kill me anytime soon. I got, you know, I got a good few years to stick around at least. <laughs> um, but long story short, I'm not going away anytime soon. Um, so when I say all this, I say this very retrospectively. Um, but when I was feeling that way, um, I wanted to make sure that I got, that I made as much as possible in that time. Because whatever idea I have in my head, if I don't write that down, if I don't flesh that out, then it essentially dies with me. 
and unless I've left specific instructions on like, yes, finish this video, yes, do it for me or whatever, odds are no one else is going to want to touch it. So in no capacity will it ever be complete unless I do it. Um, and I have a long list of, um, of videos I want to do even just eventually. Like, I'd eventually like to do a Club Penguin retrospective, you know. I'd like to cover, um, you know, the Five Nights at Freddy's series retrospectively. Those are videos that I have way down the line um, that I just want to do eventually. But unless I start writing something then and there, then that idea essentially would have, you know, then essentially that idea would die with me. Um, so I just began writing scripts, um, for various videos, and looking back at them, they suck, like, th they're bad, because I was rushing it, uh, let's see, um, I wrote a script for Celeste that isn't even salvageable, one for Celeste that might be, um, one for Scribble Knots, which was way too short, one for Scribble Knots that was way too long, and then, just a bunch of odds and ends with, like, unfinished scripts that I still think are total garbage. Um, they're all pretty much all still videos I want to make, at least at some point. Um, I've left Celeste and Scribblenauts alone, uh, for now, uh, just for the sake of not overwhelming myself. But I'm at least glad to know that I'll have time to make them properly at some point. That I'll have the time to make them properly. I haven't said this yet. But I am very grateful for the response to the Kindly Beast video. Um, there's a lot in terms of follow-up, uh, the follow-up video that I want to make. That um, There's a lot of information that's kind of essentially come forward um, since then. It'll be, it'll be different. Essentially, that's going to be like, the best way to describe it is that that follow-up video is going to be DLC. It doesn't change what I said in the first video. It just kind of gives a greater context. And then I have um, another video. And again, I, I, I like to, I don't know, I like to surprise people. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, so I'll, t I'll tell you this right now. Um, one of them is going to be for um, PT. And if you know what PT is, it is dark, it is mysterious, and it's rare. Um, essentially, um, and again, if you know nothing about PT, then you're kind of the person I'm wanting to make this for. I want to make this for someone who's never even heard of PT, and then kind of divvy it up to where, if you know, if you know the general premise of PT, you can skip the first 15 minutes of the video, and then it gets into the more detail analysis and the greater context of it. Um, but I want to cover it because of a little bit of a, um, a story that involves, um, you guys, uh, my viewers, uh, which is a really awesome thing. And so it's kind of going to be a video where I, I want it to be kind of a self-perpetuating cycle, um, because of how I got my hands on the game. Um, so again... I don't want to, I just don't want to say too much just because, um, I like to, I don't know. I like to surprise people. I, I think it was a, you know, I hope it was a pleasant surprise to see a comprehensive look at Kindly Beast. I hope it's going to be a pleasant surprise to see, um, a video on PT and I want it to be a pleasant surprise when I eventually, um, uh, make a video to Celeste because, um, I don't think I made a very good, um, I don't think I made a very compelling argument for Celeste originally. Um, and so I want this video to almost redeem it from that top 10 or top 15 games video because just, just because I want it to better explain why Celeste means so much to me. And essentially it just boils down to the fact that it's the first game that as a quote unquote adult I connected with on an emotional level. I, I just don't emotionally connect with games. Um, very much. So that was kind of where that came from. Um, one of the last things I want to talk about is um, Patreon. Um, again, it's very, very experimental right now. Um, I don't know 
what it's going to be essentially. I've obviously I've made the page for it with a couple of nice graphics and whatnot, but and I'm pulling it up here, so that's probably why you're hearing me click. Um, it's okay. I've pulled it up now. Um, where I like the um, as it is right now, just because I feel like there's, you know, I was kind of given some tips. You know, you want a very accessible um, tier. Um, you know, the two dollar one. That's you know, that's fairly accessible to the average viewer. Um, you want one that's kind of for the super fans, which is what the uh, the Beyond tier is. Um, every it's everything else in between that I have a problem with. Um, the archive tier, I've made to basically be like, look, here's my original, here's what I have of my original Celeste video. It's garbage, but if you want to see it, then you can. Um, if you want to see rejected scripts of mine, then you can. Um, and then. Um, I wanted to have a slightly higher up, like, like, you know, lower mid tier, um, well tier, um, that's what the Q and A tier is. Um, I wanted one that had some sort of, um, interaction with people. And I thought that the Q and A tier was a nice idea. Um, obviously you can disagree with that. Um, but that was kind of, um, that's kind of the one I'm least happy with just because the reward is that whenever I inevitably upload, you get to ask a question. And I feel like I should change that. I don't know. I feel like that in some way needs to change. And I'm trying to figure out how to make that better. Um, maybe not even Q&A. Maybe we throw out the Q&A aspect. And instead, it's, uh, again, I don't know. I've been trying to think of um, various things where it's like, you know, oh, monthly live streams. But again, if you're supporting me for my documentary like content, then I don't think a live stream would kind of um, do it justice. Or maybe it would. I, like, that's the thing is that I'm making this for you guys. And so, um, so basically, whatever you think would be a good idea and also proportionate to the value, then, you know, throw it my way. Just you know, spitball ideas. I don't really mind. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what, what's appealing, you know, what, what's, what's proportionate to the value that something that you would want from me, um, to where it doesn't interrupt my flow of work too much. And, you know, you get exclusive content. I help get supported and able to keep doing this. I'm just trying to find that middle ground and it's kind of hard. So I thought I'd just kind of, you know, leave it to the people who it's for. If you got any recommendations, then yeah, throw them my way. Um, and so to move on past that to the other talking point, um, merchandise. I don't, I don't want like, as nice it would be to have a U2s of Chris Portal, you know, that's not exactly what I'm aiming for here. You know, if I would want a cool design. I want it to be something that, like, you look at and it, you don't have to know what it is. I don't want it to be like Klondike where it's, like, it's a shirt with a logo on it. Like, I don't want that. I want it to be like, you know, oh, this looks like a cool Cuphead design or this looks like a cool Benny design or this looks like a cool Scribble Knots design where it's not inherently the fact that it is Chris Portal. It's the fact that it is a cool-looking shirt. Um, I haven't asked them yet, but I have an artist in mind that I'd love, I would love to work with them, um, on making a little bit of merchandise, just a couple of shirts or something. And so I'm hoping to do that eventually. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make it clear that I'm not just going to slap my name and a logo, um, on a shirt. I know that's what some people want, so I might just do that. But I want it to be a higher caliber of quality. I don't want something as pathetic as just my name on a shirt. That's just kind of sad to me. I would want it to be, again, something you can wear. And even if you don't know me or don't watch my content or whatever, you still like the look of the shirt. Like, like that's still a cool shirt design. And so you may want to buy it. So... 
yeah, I wanted to better clarify. Oh, that'd be cool. I would love to have a little lapel pin. I'll put a picture up. I have a board of pins from various games that I've played over the years. Um, some of them came with the game. Some of them I bought afterwards. Um, but I have just a pin board collection of games that have I like that have sold pins. Um, and so, yeah, I would love to have a little Chris Portal uh, icon pin. You know, like a little, little head um, or something. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's kind of what I mean when I say merchandise. I don't mean, like I said, I, I want it to be not even like a higher quality in the sense of like the material, but a higher quality in the sense of the design. So yeah, just wanted to help clarify that because I think anyone can make merch, but I want mine to be more than a logo, more than a name, more than some inside joke. I want it to be a design that even if you don't know me, don't watch me, don't watch my content, don't even know what the shirt is exactly referencing, it looks nice. It's not, <laughs> you know, you're not ashamed to wear it in public or something. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the end of that. And then the final avenue of, you know, making money off of what little skill set I have um, is um, editing. I realized that, you know, I follow a lot of creators on Twitter Every now and again, they you know they open spots for new editors. Um, Saber Spark recently um, got a new editor hired, and then um, Arlo did a little while back. I would love to work for a YouTube, you know, a fellow YouTube essayist or whatever you want to call them, just another creator um, who makes quality content in the same vein. Now I've edited Let's Plays before. You you know I have one on this channel, the Stick Fight one. Um, and so I can do that. Um, I'm fine with whatever. I just, I would love to work with or for or whatever. Um, I would love to be the editor for a um, a bigger name content creator. Not, you know, because again, I want it to be a paid gig, um, obviously. Uh, <laughs> that sounded really weird. Um, but yeah, you don't, you don't do editing for free, obviously. Um, I'd want to discuss it with whoever I'm working with. Um... And so I'd like to kind of do that as well, because even, you know, if people don't like my content, then I can still make sure that I'm adding a certain level of quality to someone else's. And as a job, that can be feasible. Obviously, I don't, I don't need a job right now. Um, you know, oh, my dog wants in. Obviously, I don't need a job right now. Um, you know, I got classes and everything else, um, to keep me busy and preoccupied, but it would be nice to make sure that I'm taking advantage of every opportunity that even could come my way. Not even the ones that, you know, present themselves on a, you know, silver platter. Like the, I want to take every opportunity I can find to take my skill set and make sure that I'm, you know, getting value out of it again I don't want to I don't want to make it sound like I'm money hungry or anything because that's not what I'm getting at what I'm trying to get at is that you know it's all going to sound selfish I don't know why I'm trying here <laughs> I'm having a hard time articulating it but I think you may understand what I mean when I say that I want to you know do money doing what I enjoy doing and doing something that I'm moderately good at I don't think that there's anything too inherently selfish or greedy in saying that. That's why I'm opening up Patreon. That's why I'm trying to work on merchandise. That's why I'm willing to be someone's editor. Because at the end of the day, video creating is something I really enjoy. And if it's something you can get paid to do, then that's great. Um, I want to try and take advantage of an opportunity that may have come my way from it. But I have to make sure that I'm, you know open to those opportunities, that I make it clear that I'm willing to do that. Um, so yeah, maybe I sound totally selfish and money hungry right now, um, you know, but if there's an opportunity for me to, you know, sustainably make money doing something I enjoy, then I'd like to take that opportunity. I just want to make sure that I'm open to it. Um, 
yeah. I, <laughs> you, this is why I don't just casually speak on my channel because I end up rambling where I get too anxious about what I've said to where it sounds it sounds incorrect. It, it doesn't sound like what I'm trying to say. Um, however, I think I've finally articulated it enough. I've, 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 I may not have said it the right way, but I've said it four other ways that kind of got me to where I'm trying to say it. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are kind of the, um, the big things, um, right now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but I, I think the rest of it's all going to kind of, you know, a lot of it's video stuff and, you know, Kindly Beast, PT, you know, I've talked about all that stuff. So I think that's all I really wanted to cover and discuss, you know, you know, PT, Kindly Beast, Patreon, merchandise, editing. Like, I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. So, um, so yeah, I think that that's, that's everything. Um, obviously, like I said, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Um, even even if this video has been out for like two months or whatever, if I'm still looking for help, then any help you can give is great. So, you know, do not be shy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to end it off here. Um, hopefully, this will be out by the end of February. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and if so, I, um, you know, I hope you guys have a good good march and you know i'll i'll see you when when i upload um next maybe it'll be another double upload maybe i'll have something to talk about um or maybe it'll just be that and then i'll chat with you guys in the comments um but uh but either way i'm gonna go um and i'll um i'll talk to you whenever i talk to you guys next so uh yeah oh and uh one more thing Thank you for listening to uh, my, you know, mumblings about whatever is on my mind. I know that it's not the most coherent thing in the world, but I feel it's important to just kind of say what's been on my mind and kind of share it with you guys. So hopefully it's not been too much of a mess. And um, and yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you next time or whenever. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, see ya.